Hi, David here. If you're experiencing any kind of success as an entrepreneur or a small business owner, chances are you've toyed with this question at least once. Is it time to expand my business? Scaling up is a very tempting proposition, but it can be nerve-wracking too. Success can mean exponential profit increases, but the risks of failure can be just as colossal, and they have the power to finish off your business for good. Since these are very intense consequences, it's important to do your homework. Part of this means outside research on variables like market trends, but a big part of it too is taking a look in the mirror and asking some hard questions of yourself and your business. The honesty of your answers will help determine whether you're ready to scale up or even if you need to scale back. Ask yourself, is it time? This is the very first question you should ask when you're thinking about scaling up. And undoubtedly, you're already asking it, but have you thought about everything? For example, sure you're turning a profit right now, but is it sustainable? Do you have sufficient proof of concept or are you merely assuming that your product will appeal to a broader client base? And have you figured out whether or not this appeal will last over a long term? Obviously, you're not going to have absolute answers to these speculative questions, but you should have reasonable and well-educated ideas about each, backed up not just by your enthusiasm, but what the data is showing. Number two, how's your team? When you scale up, you're going to need a dedicated cater of people working for you. People who can deal with the curveballs and sucker punches that will inevitably come with expanding quickly. And despite their supreme importance, don't focus exclusively on skills when onboarding new talent. Remember, the best part of heist movies was the banter. In other words, hire people you can get along with and who are enthusiastic about your business and what you're trying to do. Number three. What's in the piggy bank? If the money's not all there yet, there are ways around that. Loans, for example, from a friend, a bank, or an alternative lending source are viable options. It's also entirely possible that there are venture capitalists or other investors out there who might be interested in throwing some money your way. Find these people and set up meetings to pitch your business. Do your homework on these investors. What have they found in the past? This research will will help give you a general idea of whether they'd be a good fit for you and your business. Number four, do you have a plan? Before scaling up, do a review of the systems that help you run your business. What are they? Do all your processes have a comprehensible and repeatable workflow? Are tasks delegated intelligibly and logically? What sort of IT solutions do your business use regularly? Number five, who are your customers? Expanding means you'll be trying to ramp up sales, but who, who exactly are you selling to? You should have a good idea of who you're trying to reach. It may be that you're simply trying to gain a better foothold in your current target demographic, or you may be trying to broaden your business's appeal to a wider set of clientele. Either way, you should have an intimate understanding of who you're trying to reach before you scale up to reach them. Do you agree with us? Let us know in the comments below.